pause. Mm -hmm. So this part is really just an orchestration of Gershwin almost entirely with the exception of some of these trombone hits. I've been asked to, or volunteered to, write the arrangement for the CJO of the Poor Game Bess. It's basically a suite of a lot of the music from that opera, and trying to do it, bringing in as much Gershwin as we can, but also bringing in elements of the Gola rhythms and Gola sensibilities, and then of course a ton of jazz and big band tradition. When Chuck comes in, doubling the melody with me. He'll complain, but I don't want to listen to it. Robert Lewis is uh, just a masterful composer and arranger, and we're very fortunate that he is uh, the lead alto saxophonist and uh, leader of this, the section, and um, he does a lot of things with the you know, jazz community uh, as well, but uh, this arrangement that he's done specifically for the CJO um, this reimagining of Porgy and Bess, which everybody knows is just one of the greatest pieces of uh, music literature that uh, Gershwin, you know, composed. Um, it's very special, to say the least. Bess and, was always uh, a part of our plan to do, um, especially really from inception. Uh, and in the past few years, the conversation picked up, and it, the idea was to figure out how we could reprise it again and again, because this really is Charleston's love letter. Um, and then to have something that's as special as our own arrangement in-house that we could take on the road, that we could play over and over again, it could be something that we could share a bit of Charleston, but also a bit of our jazz culture here. <laughs> Yeah, so the process is once I have the basic idea um, in my head, I, I sit down at the computer and I have a program that basically acts as a word processor for music and uh, work out all the details. I just love playing in a big band setting, particularly with the caliber of musicians that we have here in Charleston. It's sort of astounding how great the band actually is. Um, and that we've been able to keep it going for five years is, is amazing. Um, hopefully going into this next season or two, it's going to get more and more established as part of the arts community in Charleston. Mm -hmm. 